Hi and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I've been working on clearing off my desktop. Um, I did take a video of how messy my desktop was and accidentally deleted it. So I'm working on cleaning off my desktop from when we came back from Florida. I brought home a lot of stuff with me. And I'm just now trying to sort my scrap bins um, to more usable um, pieces so I know where everything is. Like I say, I had quite a bit of leftover stuff, so I want to try and make some little projects with some of the scraps. So I'm going to start showing you some of the things that I'm making with some of my scraps. To start out with, I have tons of little bits of scrap paper. And this is just a little bit of it. This is just to show you what I'm working on. Um, I have tea stain, scraps of tea stain paper that are left over from cutting from my journals and some lined paper. So what I also had in my scrap bin, I had about six tops of some packaging that I've got some fabrics or something from the dollar store. So I've actually cut the packaging down and rounded the corners off and I made them into little tiny booklets. So these are some of the booklets that I made. These were some of the packaging and I gessoed these ones. Some are not gessoed. And I've just put some of the leftover scrap paper in there and these ones I've actually stapled. This was some of the packaging from the Tim Holtz stamp that I actually just put on the front of that one. So there are those mini notebooks. These are the ones I just made. And again, they're from this packaging. And then what I did was I just covered them with some of the scraps of the tea stain paper. And then these are the little um, when you buy scrapbooking paper, if you flip over on the back, sometimes they give you like little tiny one by one previews of what the paper looks like. So I've cut out some of those and put them in my scrap bin. And I actually use those for the front covers of the little journals. And these ones have tea stained paper in them and I've sewn them on the, the edging. So these were some of the little previews. Um, I also used, my mom gave me a whole bunch of old calendars. And the calendars, again, had the little tiny previews on the back of what the pages each month looked like. So I cut those out and threw them in my stash and I have used those as well. So these are the little mini notebooks that I've created with some of these packaging tops. And some of them were too small. You couldn't actually get a, like this is to me is probably as small a book as I would make. So those are some of the little booklets and all I do is take the paper when it's already folded and I set them inside one another like that and I will put them inside the book and then I'll just take my scissors and cut it off right at the edge of the book and then I will round all the corners of the book so it fits in there and then I will sew the edges and then I will cover the fronts. So those are what I use for some of the packaging to make some of the little mini notebooks. I also have some leftover scrap cardstock, little strips of craft cardstock. Um, and I'll, if I have a big enough piece, I'll make little mini booklets and using the scrap paper as well. Little bits and pieces of scrap paper. So I've made those kind of little mini notebooks with some of the craft cardstock. And then I've also cut some tags. Um, out of the cardstock, some of the extra bits and pieces. And I also take any bits that are not too large, I will fold them in half and I will get my tab. If you use your tab and just punch it, it will end up making a single tab. But if you fold it in half and slide it into your tab machine and put the fold just under the top there, you don't want it to, to go up above it, but you want that little line to be there. And you punch it. You will actually get a tab that is two-sided. Two so you just have to remember to put the fold underneath this little bit of, of uh, the top piece there on the fold. So I had all these little bits and pieces of scrap left over from the craft cardstock that I used before and made all these little tabs with those as well. So that was using up quite a bit of, you know, just a smaller piece of scrap and made tabs with those. Um, so that's some of the 
the bits and pieces that I made for the mini tabs. I do save these little pieces that I've cut off when I make the booklets to use on tags and like I say um, on the fronts of some of the little mini journals and whatnot. I'm going to show you another project that I was working on as well using some of the scrap paper. So another project that I have been working on is taking some of those little, so here I'll move over to the, I'm in the frame here. Taking some of the scrap tea stain paper that was left over from when I created the little booklets or whatever, and I've taken some of my stamps. Now I've ordered quite a few of stamps online. I think I got a thousand for a couple of dollars. Um, and some of the older ones are really, really, really thin paper. So they're quite uh, a thin type of paper. I guess some of the countries use the thinner paper. So what I've been doing is taking some of the tea stain paper and taking some of the stamps and just gluing them right to the tea stain paper. And then I have left some intact. And then the other ones I have cut out and I'm actually using these for some of my other projects. And I'll show you in a minute, like some of the tags and cards that I'm using, I'll actually glue these right to the tags. So that is one of the other smaller things I'm using to use up some of my scrap paper and to use up some of the stamps that I've, sorry, I'm doing the table. Some of the stamps that I've purchased, I'm trying to, um, use up some of those as well. Let's move on to what else we're using here. Hi, so another project I've been working on, I have these little tiny merchandise tags and I've tea stained quite a few of them and they do already have the hole punched in them. So I have quite a few of these. I have a, a big huge bag of these. And I just tea stain them when I have a little bit of extra tea left in after doing some paper. So I just throw them all in here. This is my little scrap of tags. And I've been taking some of the tags and actually attaching some of the stamps to them. So I have all these little tags with stamps attached. And I will use those in my journals as well. And some of them I actually will distress around the edges of the tag so it gives it a little, little different look so those are some of the little tags that I use these are little bits and pieces of the craft cardstock that I had left over and I've just added some of the stamps to those and then the tags that I cut out of the craft cardstock I will actually um, take some of the stamps and attach the stamp right to the tag. Now I'm going to decorate these a little bit more with some of the rubber stamps and some ink and maybe do some postage stamps and travel words or whatnot. Um, and I will put something on the backs of them as well. But this is as far as I've gotten. And on my hole reinforcements, um, I do have a hole reinforcement punch. And I normally will take any bits and pieces of scrap paper that I have and I will actually punch the reinforcement hole from the scrap paper and it gives me a nice sturdy tea stained reinforcement hole that I can use on my tags. So any little bits of smaller bits that um, like around old book pages, vintage book pages that are already yellowed, I will use my reinforcement hole to make my own reinforcement holes. So I have a little bag that I just keep on hand and throw those in there. So these are the tags and I like say I add the stamps to those. And I will be continuing on with those, um, stamping them. I have a little box that I keep all my little projects in that need to be rubber stamped or I try and keep everything together. So some of my little mini booklets or game cards that I make, I'll put in the little box and then when I'm sitting watching TV, I'll actually start stamping them with the rubber stamps. So that's another little project I use my scraps and some of the stamps with. Here is another small project um, working again with the game cards. This was a game about Canada. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it's just questions about Canada. 
from the 1784s and 1684s and anyway it's an older one but I like the look of the cards they look like old maps so I took these and I printed off an old map and I tore the edges and distressed it and glued them on so and then rounded the corners of the card so I've got a one side kind of started and then for the other side I found these little scrap pieces of paper in my scrap bin so I'm going to take a piece of this paper and I'm going to round the edges off and I'm going to distress the edges of the paper and glue that on to the card like so and it'll cover up all the words so we've got one side is the paper with the distressed and then the map and then what I did was I took one of the stamps that I put on the tea stained paper and I'm going to actually attach those maybe one of those to the front of the card as well so again I'm using up some of the stamps I'm using up some of the scrap papers that I have some of the game cards that I have and some of the um, digitals that I printed out I printed out a whole bunch and I had a big stack that I hadn't cut out or they were a full page of something so I'm just kind of trying to use up what I have printed or what I have in my stash and some of the game cards I have a huge box of game cards and what I might do is um, a short video on and lay out all the game cards and maybe start doing up little packages um, and putting them on my Etsy store um, of different game cards that I have you know maybe five of each one um, for people that want to try and make some fun little things out of them so I'm going to go ahead and finish up these and get those at least with the paper on them and a stamp on them and then I will add them again to a pile of finish with some rubber stamping and some eyelets and that kind of thing. Okay, so these are some of the game cards. I did mention earlier that I have um, been using some game cards. So these are some little game cards from an old game that I purchased for a dollar. And I have tons of these. Um, so what I've been doing is I bought a map book and in the back of the map book when you get near the back it would have four little pictures of maps of cities um, in the back of the book and they were too small to do anything you know make tags or anything with so I was actually taking them and attaching them to the card and then on the backs I'm taking some of my stamps and I'm gluing those on and then I think some of them I was using the Tim Holtz stamp and stamping right on the map and then I also took some an old book page and I inked with a rubber stamp um, some of the images and glued those on and I really really like this look so I may do more like this and then I have the stamp on the back now I may add an eyelet to these and have them hanging in the journals um, I'm not quite sure they might just be tucked in and whatever but those are some of the ideas for using up some of the game cards now I, I said I, I do have quite a few game cards that I need to use up um, these are some of the others that I these are all game cards headbands flash cards different kids cards and on the backs I've started to cover them with lined paper these are some of the digis that I've printed some have postcards on them, more lined. There's another postcard or two. These are some of the wine labels that I found in that wine label book. I've cut, you're supposed to collect the, the wine labels and glue them on top of the picture in the book. So I've just cut out the wine labels and tea stained some of them and I've just attached them to the back of the cards. And again, I still have to do the backs. And then these were a Canadian Monopoly type game. <laughs> these were bonds or something. They're nice and sturdy and these I use for journaling cards. So again, I still have to cover the backs of them and I may do a video, like I say, of all my game cards and I will show you some of the different cards that I have. But that's what I'm using some of them for. And then there's my little map ones that I showed you earlier as well. So I have quite a few game cards that I'm using as well. 
Here are some of my scrapbooking paper scraps um, from making my journals. I cut tags out of the center and I didn't know what to do with the remainder of this. So I've been just cutting them into little tiny scraps. And one of my pen pals, Christina, hi Christina, sent me this cute little paper clip collage. And the little heart that's on the back is made from watercolor paper. And it's just tucked in there. I just absolutely love it. And I've never tried a collage, so I may save some of the other pieces to try some little collage, paperclip collages. But I really, really love the little heart that she cut out. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I would try forever to get the perfect heart, but I just absolutely love this little heart that she's sent me. So I've been using it as a little template to cut out some little hearts from some of my scrap paper. So I will use those. I just take her little heart and use it as a little template and cut around it. Thank you, Christina. I just love this little heart. And he sits in a special place on my desk. But I will continue to use up some of my scraps and make some hearts so that I can use these in some of my journals as well. One other thing that I have been working on with my laces and trims basket I came across these really cute um, embroidery floss bobbins. They're from mintedstrawberry.blogspot.com and you get a full sheet of these. I printed them on card stock, well, craft paper. And I've been taking my, they give you a little slit in the middle there. And I've been taking my cotton fabric um, that I have in my stash and just wrapping this around the little bobbins and creating some little, they look like little dresses. Aren't they cute? Um, I use my thinner scraps for making some tags, for little headers for some of my tags. And I also use it for ties in my junk journals, or my handmade journals. Um, I do have some thicker um, cotton fab tea stain fabric, and I'll use that for tabs and, and whatnot in my journals as well. But these, I've just taken them down and, and ripped them to a skinnier, skinnier width, and then I'll just wrap this around the, the bobbin, and I'll have these in my stash as well. So just another thing while I've been cleaning up my scraps and getting ready. I will show you what I've been working on throughout this video. I'll show you the results um, in a moment. Uh, I will just finish up with these and then I will show you my nice clear tabletop once I'm done. One other small project I've been working on. I received the this uh, as a gift it was a sheet of cardstock and it had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as one long sheet um, for writing your daily things that you do. Um, so I had cut it all apart and I was just using it for taking notes, but I had quite a stack of it. So I actually tried to tea stain um, the cardstock. This is the pile that I tea stained this morning. Um, it does wrinkle quite a bit. Um, so I did get out my iron and I ironed them flat and I'm going to use some of the things that I'm going to use this these for. This was one of them and I've cut the, the letters off and just trimmed the corners and punched a hole and I will use these for tags. Um, the other was taking my tag punch and actually cutting out a few tags out of the card so I'll have some little mini tags and I've just punched the holes in them but they ha do have some lines on them so I can use them for that and then some of the scrap it's quite sturdy cardstock so I'm taking some of the scrap and actually punching hole reinforcement holes out of this and it'll give me a nice sturdy reinforcement hole that I can use for some of my tags as well so all the little scraps get used and once it's been used as much as I can put those in there and I've punched as many holes and everything out of it, this will go in the garbage. So I try and use up as much of the paper 
as I can um, for tags and or whatnot. So there's another small little project. I'm pretty much clean. My, once I put this away, my desk will be cleared off and I will show you my little box of finished products. Okay, so here's the last of my scrap bin sorted. I did have that little cardboard box, but that was only half. <laughs> so all my scraps have now been set aside. I've made my window pouches with my fussy cuts in them, some journaling cards, a stamp book that I cut up with some stamp pictures, birds, this was a small advertising book, collector's book. This was a magazines, old magazines from the 1800s to 1900s, um, the covers. So there's all kinds of those. This was a book that I've cut up with some little things in it and my wine labels. So I've put some of my fussy cuts in my window pouches. And then I've taken these really great Ziploc document bags that I found at the dollar store and sorted them out. So this is my cardstock cutouts. When you get scrapbooking paper, you get journaling cards and tags and stuff. That's all in there. This is all my little bits and pieces of scrap paper. Paper. This is smaller pieces of cardstock that I have left over. These are all my digis that I've printed and cut out that are on paper. So little digital things, but they're on paper, not cardstock. Um, a book, a couple of books that had florals and botanicals. I kept those separately because I'm going to be using them shortly. And then a couple of other book, bird books. Um, Marjolaine Bastine, I think her name is. Um, that's another one. So I've just kind of divided them up and then these will go in a large wicker basket that I have and I'll be able to see what's inside all of them. Um, and then this one is all different old book plates that I've taken out of old vintage books and I've kept those separately. So I've more or less sorted everything out. My desktop is clear. I've got them somewhat organized and now I can continue on with creating some journals. So this is the remainder of my little projects that I'm working on. My little mini tags, my mini notebooks, my game cards, some of the stamps, the tags, the little game cards and whatnot. These all have to be finished and or stamped, cut up perhaps. So this is what is been minimized down to um, rather than my three or four huge large boxes of scrap bins I've now got it all nice and organized and I'll show you at the end a little picture of where I store my little basket with all my Ziploc baggies in um, but this is more or less done and now my desktop is clear and I can start working on some of my journals putting some of the inserts in some of my journals so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon